Hey dudes, it's Mr. Post, and on tonight's video, the goal is for you to be able to calculate the pOH given the OH concentration. That's right, I'm giving you a concentration of hydroxide ion, and I'm going to want you to calculate the pOH. And also, once we know the pOH, we can also then solve for the pH of a solution. A little reminder, when we're talking about the concentration of ions, we're going to use these brackets around them. That references the molarity of our ions. We've got a hydroxide ion right here. We've got the hydronium or the hydrogen ion right there. And also introduced on a recent video was this. When I multiply the hydrogen ion concentration by the hydroxide ion concentration, I will always get 1 times 10 to the negative 14th as an answer. So these are just some good reminders as we'll be using these on today's video. Okay, dudes, here we go. The pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. The pOH, though, is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. You see how they're both similar? They're both calculated exactly the same way. It's just that the pH deals with the hydrogen ion and the pH deals with the hydroxide ion. Same exact way. These scales scientists use to measure the strengths of acids and bases. And you're probably pretty familiar with this. Like a strong acid is going to have a low pH. But I also want you to see the pOH scale is a little different. A 14 on a pH, pOH scale would equal a weak base. But a zero on the pOH scale would equal a strong base. So what you're seeing here is that a base could be shown to be a strong base using a pH of 14. And a base could also be expressed as being a strong base with a pOH of 0. Likewise... A strong acid is considered strong if it has a pH of 0, but I would have a pOH of 14. That's right, the acid can have a pOH of 14, meaning it's weak as well. So what we're looking at here, guys, is different ways to measure or express the strengths of acids and bases. little fun fact for you. When you add up the pH and the pOH, your answer will always be 14. And then watch you see that. 0 plus 14 is 14. 13 plus 1 is 14. Let's skip over here. 8 and 6 is 14, and 13 and 1. So when I add up both scales, my pH and my pOH, the answer is always going to be 14. And that's a useful fact for us, actually. It's a very useful fact for us. So what's going to happen here is that I want you to calculate the pOH given the hydroxide ion concentration. Really, actually, really super duper easy. If the problem expresses the hydroxide ion concentration, the negative log, just like we saw with pH, would give me the pOH. Once you're given the pOH, it's kind of easy, actually, because the pOH plus the pH is going to equal 14. Man, once you know that, it's an easy subtraction problem. You rearrange and say pH equals 14 minus the pOH. Really, guys, really super duper simple for us tonight here. All right, let's calculate the pOH and the pH of a solution of NaOH with a concentration of 3 times 10 to the negative second. All right, dudes, let's wrap our brains around this one. Get a calculator out, and why don't you try to start solving this problem? Step one. The pOH is going to be equal to the negative log of my hydroxide ion concentration, which means it's the negative log of 3 times 10 to the negative second. All right, dudes, why don't you take two seconds and calculate that to double check that you're getting the same answers as me, that you can use your calculators pretty good. And we have a pOH of 1.5. So on part one, we find out my pOH is 1.5. Once again, I'm just using the hydrogen ion concentration. 
in step two, we have the pH is going to be equal to 14 minus the pOH. So we have the pH is equal to 14 minus 1.5, and therefore the pH is going to be equal to 12.5. So here's the deal, dudes. We've solved the problem now. Given you the concentration of the hydroxide ion, we found a pOH. The pOH said that this is a pretty, pretty strong base. If it has a pOH of 1.5, remember, a pOH of 0 indicated a really strong base. This is a pOH of 1.5. Now, does that make sense on our pH scale? Well, a pH scale of greater than 7 is basic. And this is a 12.5 pH. So yes, it supports the fact that with a 12.5 pH is a basic solution. And I'm going to see this as my pOH. Once again, another way of expressing the strengths of acids and bases. Now we have two scales. All right, dudes, in this example, I'm giving you Step one is going to be to find the pOH using the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. I do want you to use caution here because it's not our traditional pOH formula. You have a two here. So you have twice the number of hydroxide ions that will be produced when this goes into solution. So we're going to use this right here. And when I find the negative log of 2 times 4.9 times 10 to the negative 9th, I end up with a pOH that's equal to 8.01. All right, dude, so we have found the pOH. And just using caution here on our, on our 2, our subscript for the hydroxide. Lastly, the pH plus the pOH is going to equal 14. So the pH of the solution will equal 14 minus the pOH. And so once we do our substitutions, we end up finding the pH is going to be equal to 5.99, telling me that this is somewhat of an acidic solution. Not a crazy, uh, crazy acidic solution, but somewhat acidic solution. All right, dudes, that's all for tonight. Hope it was helpful. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Peace.